What is the name of the 21st century? What is called? Millennium? No. The age of the 21st century is called the age of, of touch. Touch, because this is touch. I have to touch. The, the age of connections and network. We are in the age in the networks and connections. Everything becomes in touch with everything. Everything is connected to everything. This is the name of 21st century. This is why I use the uh, dermato, which is skin, and semiotics, which is connections and uh, communication. Semiotics, uh, it is uh, a, a transdisciplinary science dealing with science, science of science. Uh, regarding the, uh, uh, the word complex adaptive system, it is the difference between the living system and machine system. This uh, a machine system cannot touch me, but I can't touch it. While the living system can touch us, and we can touch it. So it is complex because it is unpredictable, uncertain. This is important things because the relationship with the patient is unpredictable, uncertain. This is why the 21st century medicine is a mode of nursing, like rather than uh, modern medicine, which is was depend on distance between the doctor and the patient. The patient in the old tradition is you uh, behave as a machine, as an object. While in the 21st, 21st century medicine, it is a person, subject. This is why the shift from cure to care, from disease-centered medicine to person-centered medicine. This is the lecture mostly uh, accepted, uh, received by the nurse rather than doctors. Uh, regarding the radical cure of crisis made by 20, 19th century medicine, which is called the predictive models, uh, 19th century medicine used statistics to express about the truth. The truth only received as quantity. Quantitative uh, data, soft data, it is not uh, uh, super, uh, not inferior, it is inferior to the quant data. This is why it is uh, research about what research is, it is uh, low. Uh, the second thing, it is the uh, concept of the health. The concept of the health is a quantitative uh, concept. It's not quantitative, it cannot be reduced in two parts. And this is why the, I use the metaphor or the story of the elephant and the six uh, line. Uh, this is the old tradition. Medicine, old medicine divided into disciplines. Each discipline, I am dermatologist. I am care only for skin, radiologist for the uh, radiology. And uh, the, every uh, specialty focus on its uh, part of the human being. And forgetting the whole, forgetting the whole being. The health as a whole, it is only touched, cannot be seen, because it is feeling. Uh, this is why everyone of this blind person reduce the whole elephant into the part touched. We touch only part. As a human being, we cannot touch the whole. Our body connected to situation, to context, local. But the science, modern science, speak in general, general generality and abstract thinking. This is why there is uh, there is a kind of uh, uh, reductionism, reducing the whole into a part. This is why there is no communication between the disciplines, because each discipline thinks that he is the whole, reducing the whole into his discipline. And the solution or the cure for the crisis in medicine and the crisis in nursing and the crisis in education is the, to see the patient and see the students as a whole, because the student is more than the sum of his parts. Like the elephant is more than the sum of the part which has touched by this line. The uh, message, the one message which I hope you, you can take with you, that if we want to, to communicate effectively, we need to know that we are blind. We cannot see the whole. If we feel that we are only in touch with part, we will communicate with each other to know the other perspective. This blind person, if you if, if, uh, co cooperate and uh, collaborate, they can uh, reach the good uh, decision. They can know the elephant in appropriate way. I think the message is to uh, communicate effectively is to be ignorant of the whole. Those who see themselves as knowing the whole, they will not cooperate, they will not communicate. And thank you very much. Thank you. Please, questions. Any questions? Yes, that uh, you have it, which is uh, the part of the foundation of the yes, medicine. Yes, yes, fragmentation. Fragmentation, yes. And uh, you believe that the solution is the connection and the uh, 
net or building it? Yes, of course. And the, the solution is by knowing that we are in touch with heart only. Mm -hmm. I am dermatologist, I can touch only the skin. If I want to, to judge the, the health of the patient, I need to cooperate with other disciplines. Integration system, problem-based learning, is a shift from visual culture, when the students is outside, at distance, to the close, in touch. We become in touch with the students. We become, we know each other. For this reason, the, uh, the motto or the slogan of the 21st century is touch is everything. And we cannot have a holistic physician. Holistic, yes, of course. This is what is I, why I call the nursing using this uh, philosophy uh, long before, before we introduce in the medicine. Okay, I have one question. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yes. We want to listen to your question. Um, I have some questions. Of integration system. Yes. We think that with integration, we become with um, awareness, then going to sharing, then going to interdisciplinary, yes. then going to transdisciplinary. Because of, the of course, because the skin is intersubjective structure. It connects the self to other. The skin is not belong to me. It yes. belongs to me and to the environment. So it is a model. I use the skin as a model for complex adaptive system. It is a transcellular subject. And the most important thing in this question is that we have two sides of the brain. Left brain and right brain. The right brain, it is a feeling, touch. He can uh, access the, the, the other human being through feeling and intuition, touch. But the left brain is the dominant uh, in the medicine and in our life, which starts the details. 